Hello friends, I'm Parwes and in this video I'm going to show you that how we can create a simple IP finder in Flask. Now, this is the simple application that we are going to create. Now, if I change the, uh, for example, if I refresh this, you can see in the first that show uh, my IP address and my information uh, about my IP address. Now, if I change this, uh, for example, to uh, another IP address and if I click on the search, uh, you can see that I'm receiving this. Uh, this is the location, this is the country, and this is the language. A latitude uh, information and also time zone, uh, currency, and different information about the IP address. So now let's just create this simple uh, IP Finder application in Flask. Alright, guys, now this is uh, uh, my. I've created a new project in PyCharm. So now the first thing I need, I'm going to create a. Uh, Python file and I'm going to call it flask IP finder and after that I need to just create a new directory and you need to just uh, I'm going to call it templates uh, so in here the first thing I need I'm going to create two HTML files uh, uh, the first one is index and uh, the second one is base.html so right now I'm not going to add any code in here so first uh, now for this I'm going to use uh, IP API the first thing you need you need to install IP API so you can just use pip and install IP API now after installation we need to import uh, IP API and after that we are going to from flask we need to import flask uh, also request and render template uh, after adding this now we need to create the object of our flask and uh, now we need to create our route and also view function so at app.route uh, and uh, the methods so methods we are going to use get and also post so diff index so the first thing now uh, in here I'm going to for right now I need to just return render template and I want to render my index.html now let me just add some codes in my index.html so because I'm going to use template inheritance in here now uh, I have a complete video series about 4 hours training on Flask web development uh, I have added the link to the video description you can also check that so now in the base.html the first thing I need I'm going to create block title so block title and after creating of the block you need to end the block so end block uh, also, I'm going to create a block for my body, so block body, and we need to end this block, so end block. Now, in the index.html, I'm going to remove all HTML tags, and in here, I need to extend from the base.html, so base.html. The first thing I need, I need to create my page title. So I'm going to use this block. So I can say block title. And this is IP finder. And you need to just end the block. And after that, we need to create a block for our body, for writing our body contents so we can just say block body and you need to end the block so right now I'm going to just create an h1 tag and flask IP finder uh, so after creating of uh, our index.html and also uh, base.html uh, now we are going to just run our application and we are going to check that we have our this uh, HTML file or not. Now for this, uh, we are going to just create, uh, we need to just run our uh, application, so Flask application. 
so we can say app dot run and we want the debugging mode to true so if you are in development mode you can use this but if you are on, prod uh, on production level you can remove this uh, now we can just run this so the debug mode is on and now we are going to run this so now you can see we are receiving flask ip finder uh, because i'm also using boots bootstrap styles so for this we need to add the cdn link uh, to my base.html so i'm going to just copy and paste this in the and you can add it in here so let me just add in here uh, now uh, we need to bring some changes in the index.html so first I need to create diff class container so diff class container okay so let me add some br tag in here so br br and okay uh, now we are going to create our form action in here so the method is post uh, now we are going to create a diff class form group and here you need to create your input uh, text so input type text and the class is form control and also we need to give a placeholder so enter IP address so after this uh, now we need to just create also a submit button uh, so let me just okay input so input type it's submit and the class is btn btn primary uh, the value is search now we are going to check our this application okay now you can see that I have my uh, text input and also search button now we are going to open uh, also I need to give a name in here so let me just give it a name of search because we are going to get uh, the IP address from the user uh, so now in here the first thing you need you need to get uh, the input from the user so for this we are going to just say search uh, request dot form dot get and uh, we are going to just add search in here and uh, after uh, doing this uh, we are going to create uh, our, we are going to get the uh, IP location so for this we are going to just say data now the search is uh, related to the name that we have given for our input text so we can say data IP API dot location now you can see you need to add an IP in here and after that uh, you can add key but we don't uh, need to add key in here also you need to specify the output so now for the IP because we are going to get the IP from the search we need to add search in here and uh, for the output we are going to use JSON and now we need to send this data to our this index.html now in the index.html uh, the first thing we need uh, we need to add our this uh, URL form for in, uh, our this index in the form action so we can say URL for and uh, the name of our view function is index 
so if you see this is index uh, after this now we need to show our data our IP information uh, we're going to create some BR tag in here now the first thing I need I'm going to show the IP address so I can say IP address is data dot IP and uh, also I'm going to show the uh, CT location is data dot CT and uh, now we are going to So now you can see that this is the IP address and also this is the city location. Now let's just uh, receive some more information. Let me just copy uh, this. Uh, for example, IP country is. And we can add country and also available language is. language is and we can just add uh, language so language okay now let's check okay now you can see that this is the IP country and also this is the language uh, now let's just do some more information about so this is my IP address on my uh, information about the IP address uh, now we are going to let me just pause the video and add all information in here all right guys now I have added these information so this is uh, latitude information you can use data dot latitude uh, this is longitude information data dot uh, longitude and also we have time zone information data dot time zone uh, this is the calling code uh, data dot country calling code so uh, this is the currency data dot currency and internet network data dot org uh, containment uh, and also we have postal code so data dot postal code and UTC offset so data dot UTC offset now these are the informations that you can uh, uh, extract using the um, IP API library uh, now let me just refresh this so now you can see that these are the informations that we have uh, uh, IP country uh, latitude longitude currency and postal code and different information now if I search for example another IP okay now you can see that this is the IP and uh, this is the location this is the IP country and uh, this is the language uh, this is the latitude information longitude information uh, the time zone is Asia Tokyo this is the calling code uh, currency uh, and uh, so different information postal code and also UTC offset so like this you can use uh, this uh, library so now we have used the IP API library but there is uh, uh, now a website IP API dot co uh, they have uh, the API and also you can use directly from this uh, website uh, so you can see that this is the my IP address and uh, also uh, and these are the information uh, now if I check this IP address in here so first let me just check my IP information and okay now you can see that these are the information now if I check this in here now you can see that this is the same this is the latitude calling code currency and the languages and this is the IP now if I add another IP in here so I'll locate uh, 
Uh, now you can see that this is the city is Kofo and this is the region, the country is Japan. Postal code, uh, European Union and the time zone, calling code, language. Now if I add the same IP in here uh, and if I search, you can see that I am receiving the same information, city location, IP country is Japan and this is the language, Japanese, this is the code, uh, calling code and this is the U UTC offset so like this you can work with uh, uh, IP Finder API I will add the source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the